all our stadiums are unique in terms of their design, in terms of how we've uh, made sure that they're sustainable. This stadium is known as the Diamond in the Desert. Um, also, it's the first stadium to receive five-star uh, global sustainability assessment uh, systems. Uh, all our other stadiums have four stars, uh, so this makes it unique. Also, making sure that everything from 85% uh, uh, of the uh, material has been uh, imported regionally, 25% uh, of the material is recycled material, uh, LED lighting all over the stadium, sustainable uh, water and ir irrigation systems, and of course also the cooling technology that makes all our stadiums unique. Um, also what makes this very unique, which is also an important part of legacy, is its uh, location in the heart of Education City. Education City has a lot of leading institutions, leading universities, schools, and this will be a, a stadium that they can use as recreational and sporting facilities uh, after the World Cup. The stadium also uh, houses two schools that will be ready for use uh, post-2022. Well, we hope that the effects of the pandemic will be uh, gone as soon as possible. Hopefully in the next few months, the world can go back to normal. Uh, we're hopeful and confident that in 2022, the fans will be able to enjoy this World Cup just as much as they enjoy every other World Cup that they've been to. Um, of course, you, the unique attributes of this World Cup being compact, being uh, able to watch more than one match a day and uh, experiencing the Arab and uh, Middle Eastern culture here, enjoying the sun, enjoying the sea, all form part of the great experience that people will have when they come here for the World Cup.